a 15 inch display running at 1024 by 768. Let's go ahead and build in the best in every product. And let's have our display engineers engineer it, and it's gorgeous. It is an Apple quality display that we are very proud of. Let's go ahead and put a lot of memory in this thing. 32 megabytes standard. It's expandable to 128. Four gigabyte disk drive, 24X CD-ROM. And let's build in a lot of communications. This thing's got 100 megabit ethernet as standard. Now why? Because a lot of our education customers want to put these high-speed networks in and because we're seeing it in homes. Approximately 10% of the homes in Silicon Valley now have class five wiring in them. We're starting to see lots of home networks emerging. A fast modem and also four megabit infrared built in. You want to beam your digital photographs in from your digital camera built into every product. We are going to the new generation of I.O. 12 megabit universal serial bus, two ports. We're leaving the old Apple I.O. behind. Stereo surround sound built into every product and a great, great keyboard and mouse. Now, <laughs> this is what they look like today. And I would uh, like to take the privilege of showing you what they're going to look like from today on. This is iMac. Back there and do that again. Go back and come back. Thank you. So if I can get this screen switched over, we've got a wireless camera here, and I'd like to show you what this thing looks like. Come on in. You've got to see this thing in person, but I'll do the best I can with video. This is iMac. The whole thing is translucent. You can see into it. It's so cool. We've got <laughs> stereo speakers on the front. We've got infrared right up here. We've got the CD-ROM drive right in the middle. We've got dual stereo headphone jacks. We've got the coolest mouse on the planet right here. <clears throat> Come on around. All of the connectors are inside one beautiful little door here, the Ethernet, the USB stuff. Around the back, we've got a really great handle here. The back of this thing looks better than the front of the other guys, by the way. And then around the side. So let's take one more, one more swing around it so you can see. This is what it looks like. And again, you've got to see one of these things in person. Great. Yeah, I've got some slides of what this looks like, too. I mean, this is incredible compared to anything else out there. It looks like it's from another planet, and a good planet, <laughs> a planet with better designers. Look at this keyboard. It's so nice. Two universal serial bus connectors on either side, so you can plug the mouse into whichever one you want, whether you're right or left-handed, and you have the other one for peripherals. Look at this mouse. It's the most, it's the, it's the most wonderful mouse you've ever used. Tell us about your computer, Phil. Well, as Steve mentioned, we went out and got uh, the hot new Compact Rosario 45, uh, 4540, and it does have an AMD K6 233 megahertz MMX optimized processor with a 256K uh, pipeline cache on it. In fact, Compaq advertises this as a third faster than most all other 233 megahertz products. And of course, we have a 233 megahertz product too, and we'll see if it is a third faster. Um, but this is the best thing you can buy in this class of products, and, and customers are just eating them up. Well, great. Well, I, I have an iMac. <laughs> and so why don't we put them through their paces? So let's take that same director demo 
again, Director 60, and let's get these machines ready to go, and we'll see which one's faster. Now, over on the left, again, we've got the Compaq with the K6233 in it, the most popular and fastest consumer computer out there. And on the right, we have iMac. Well, I'm ready for you. Sir. All right. Three, two, one, go. Come on. It's playing. Do you, uh, do you want to put it out of its misery or let it go? <laughs> yep. And I got the fastest consumer product you can buy at any price. It's the brand new Pentium 2 400 megahertz MMX processor and the Compact Presario 4880. And over $2,500, that's without networking. There's no networking that comes with it. And that's without the monitor before you add that. So when you add those things, it's over $3,000. And this thing has a 100 megahertz memory bus, Ooh. a half a mega pipeline cache, 